Hey guys, I figured I would hop on for a really quick update. Sorry if I sound groggy, I literally just woke up. Um, I was out running errands all day and I literally passed out as soon as I walked through the door. I'm just saying like, I didn't take off my shoes, anything. Like I literally passed out. So I am still trying to fully wake up. It takes a while and I just had the urge to do a really quick video. But when I say quick, I really don't know how quick it'll be. And then, so also, since I'm tired, I don't have the energy to fool around with my camera camera. So I apologize for this um, crappy quality, I'm sure, um, mobile device video. So, what's been going on? Not a lot has changed in the symptom department. I am sick every day, and I struggle with fatigue very badly, um, but I'm getting through. I had my nine-week appointment, which was my graduating appointment from my REs when I was nine weeks and one day. And then the very next day, I had my first OB appointment at nine weeks and two days. So at my nine weeks and one day appointment with my RE, my baby measured four days ahead at nine weeks and five days and it grew so much since the last time we saw it it was like just a speck i felt like last time with a heartbeat and this still isn't the best of quality especially since i'm going to put it up to my phone but my little blob and the head is over here and the arms and legs are over here and my ovaries and follicles and everything are still um, swollen with fluid, she said. The baby, oh my goodness, it was so amazing to see the baby. The baby was wiggling around, dancing. It was absolutely adorable. My husband loved that part. And everything was good. I mean, it was a pretty quick appointment. And so we are no longer seeing our fertility doctor until baby number two. And I did ask um, the crazy person who asked how soon, just out of, out of curiosity, they like you to wait after giving birth before doing another cycle. And you can't be breastfeeding. And I plan on breastfeeding, or at least trying to. Um, so, yeah, it'll be a while. But I was just asking out of curiosity. Um, so the next day, I had my first OB appointment, and I have to say, I love my OB doctor. Um, however, it's completely different atmosphere than the fertility clinic, um, which didn't settle well with me. I don't know if it was my hormones or well or like what, but the ultrasound technician was rude in my opinion so it's definitely not the same as the fertility clinic where you feel you know at home um so that'll take some getting used to and here is my baby the next day big old noggin of course the arms and legs and body and my little baby's halo because he or she is perfect already um no that's the old sack um, so yeah, got some more pictures and I still haven't been able to hear the heartbeat at either doctor's office, but the baby's heartbeat was measuring in the 170s and I figured it would be because I bought a fetal Doppler for home and I actually picked it up eight weeks and six days, but technically it was after midnight. So I don't know if you want to say I was nine weeks exactly or still on the eighth week, but I did. It took a lot of work, but I finally found my baby's um, heartbeat. So I listen to it almost every day. I feel like <laughs> um, it's such a comfort to hear. And when I listen to it here at the house, the baby's heart rate is anywhere from 170s to 184. So that's perfect. Um, and it does bring me a lot of ease to hear my baby's heartbeat whenever I want. What else? So yeah, we got to see our baby dancing and moving around. The most amazing thing ever. My next um, ultrasound 
isn't until the 29th. I'll be a little over 13 weeks. Well, I'll be in my 13th week for the NT scan. And I was planning on doing the maternity 21 test. Um, however, my OB talked me out of it because I guess a lot of times, and I think I've heard this too, um, results can come back saying you're at a higher risk than what you really are. And if they do, you have to do an invasive test, which I don't feel comfortable with, let alone it being all for nothing when and not needed whatsoever. So I did opt out of that. Um, and I, you know, I wanted my selfish reasoning was, you know, I want to know my gender as soon as I can of my baby. Um, but she told me that at my NT scan on my 13th week, she will um, take a peek. So hopefully baby cooperates and there is something or something not to see. Um, and she said, if we don't see anything, to come back in two weeks and we will look again. So I'm hopeful by the end of this month, I will hopefully know the likelihood of which gender um, to expect. I think, girl, right now, I could very well be wrong. I've, I'm wrong anytime, I guess, with anybody else, but everybody tells me it's different with your own child. So we'll see. Um, I'm in maternity pants. Um, honestly, my double zero size pants got packed up a few months ago with doing continuous IVF treatments over the past year or being on any sort of medicine over the past year, whether it be birth control or stimming or anything. Um, but I literally am down to hardly anything that fit me. So I bought some maternity pants online because I am so short um, that it's hard, you know, to find some. Thankfully, I found some pretty good priced ones on maternity and through Kohl's, and both of those fit pretty well. I did go into motherhood um, the other day, and I tried on the exact same size, which was a petite extra small which is what I ordered that fit perfectly and these ones didn't fit at all and they were um, huge. So I'm kind of in like a really, and you know what? I wouldn't even call it an awkward stage because as long as my thighs don't continue to expand, I don't think I'll ever be able to wear those. So it kind of, it kind of sucks um, that I'm, I really have no options whatsoever. I might be living in uh, maxi dresses which are also diff a little difficult to find when you're so short. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, not a whole lot going on, just, you know, exhausted, battling morning sickness, appointments here and there in school. Um, so yeah, I don't know when I will do updates. You know, I'm on Instagram a lot more as far as with updates, but I realize not everybody has uh, Instagram, a lot of you guys um, I do have on there or follow or vice versa. Um, but if not, I will put my Instagram name below for my um, TTC account. Um, I got nothing else. I'm, I'm sorry. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. I will try my hardest to put a snippet of the baby's heartbeat in the video, but honestly, I don't know what I'm doing. So I'll try, but I cannot make any guarantees. So we'll see. If it's there, obviously it's there. If it's not, I couldn't figure it out because I'm not that smart when it comes to technology or really anything. I should be a blonde for sure. But I hope everybody is doing well. I follow you guys. Um, I am a little bit behind on videos, but I am trying to catch up, but just know I am still there watching and I'm still there like stalking borderline, just kidding. But I definitely keep up to date with what everybody's going through and I will definitely continue to, and I will talk to you when I talk to you. Bye.